The quest for weight loss has become an enduring saga for many individuals, bringing about many debates on what works best and what doesn't. Amongst these myriad discussions, there's a growing interest in the role of amino acids and their impact on weight loss. Amino acids are essential building blocks of proteins, vital to nearly every bodily function. Some amino acids are deemed beneficial for weight loss, while others may potentially hinder the process. This video will delve into the top 10 amino acids that might be counterproductive to your weight loss journey, based on scientific studies. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Beginning with the 10th culprit on our list, tryptophan. Known for its calming effects, tryptophan is indeed beneficial for sleep and mood regulation. However, some studies suggest that increased intake of tryptophan can lead to weight gain. A 2009 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition revealed a positive correlation between higher tryptophan intake and obesity. At number 9, we have histidine. This amino acid is a double-edged sword. It's essential for tissue repair, immune function, and neurotransmitter production. But a study in the British Journal of Nutrition found that high levels of histidine were associated with obesity and insulin resistance in adults, suggesting it may contribute to weight gain when consumed in excess. The eighth amino acid to consider is methionine. As a primary source of sulfur, it plays a crucial role in your body's metabolism and detoxification processes. Nevertheless, too much methionine might not be the best for your weight loss ambitions. In fact, a study published in Nature Metabolism suggests that excess methionine can increase fat mass and reduce energy expenditure, making weight loss more challenging. Next up is threonine at number 7. Threonine helps with the production of collagen and elastin, key components for healthy skin and connective tissues. However, a 2020 study published in Metabolites found that higher threonine levels were associated with obesity and metabolic disorders. We have phenylalanine in the sixth spot. While phenylalanine is crucial for producing essential neurotransmitters, a 2017 study published in Scientific Reports showed that higher phenylalanine levels could contribute to obesity. The research indicated that increased phenylalanine could lead to an imbalance in energy regulation, thus resulting in weight gain. Halfway through our list at number 5 is aspartic acid. This amino acid is known for its role in hormone production and nervous system function. Yet a study in the Journal of Amino Acids found that elevated aspartic acid levels might be linked to higher body mass indexes, BMIs, and potential weight gain. At the fourth spot is serine. Serine aids in muscle growth and immune function, making it a critical amino acid. However, a study from Nature Communications showed that high serine levels could increase fat storage, posing a hurdle to weight loss. Our third entry is arginine. Widely recognized for its role in wound healing and immune response, arginine may not be your best friend when it comes to shedding pounds. A study published in Amino Acids found that higher arginine intake was associated with increased body weight and reduced insulin sensitivity, suggesting a negative impact on weight loss. The second one on our list is tyrosine. Known for its role in thyroid hormone production, an excess of tyrosine might sabotage your weight loss goals. A study in the International Journal of Obesity found that individuals with high tyrosine levels had higher BMI and body fat percentage, implying a possible association with weight gain. Finally, at the top of our list is the amino acid leucine. Famous for its muscle building capabilities, leucine might be beneficial for athletes, but it could hinder your weight loss progress. In a study published in Cell Metabolism, researchers found that an increased leucine intake could lead to obesity. This could be due to leucine's impact on mTOR, a protein that regulates cell growth and metabolism. An overactive mTOR pathway could promote fat storage and weight gain, making leucine as the number one amino acid to be mindful of in your weight loss journey. When discussing amino acids, it's important to note that they are the building blocks of proteins and play crucial roles in various biological processes. While no single amino acid is inherent the worst, excessive consumption of certain amino acids or imbalances in their ratios can potentially lead to health risks. High levels of methionine in the diet, particularly in animal protein sources, have been associated with increased production of homocysteine. Elevated homocysteine levels have been linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases and may contribute to oxidative stress. 
Phenylalanine is an essential amino acid found in many protein-rich foods. However, individuals with a genetic disorder called phenylketonuria PKU, cannot metabolize phenylalanine properly. Without proper management and a restricted diet, excessive phenylalanine levels can lead to intellectual disabilities and other neurological problems. Tryptophan is a precursor to serotonin, a neurotransmitter involved in mood regulation. While tryptophan itself is not harmful, extremely high doses of tryptophan supplements have been associated with a condition called eosinophilia myalgia syndrome, EMS. EMS can cause severe muscle pain, eosinophilia, high levels of white blood cells, and even organ damage. Glutamate is an important neurotransmitter in the brain. However, excessive consumption of monosodium glutamate, MSG, a flavor enhancer, has been associated with the occurrence of symptoms such as headache, flushing, sweating, and numbness in some individuals, a condition known as MSG symptom complex, or Chinese restaurant syndrome. It's important to note that these symptoms are relatively rare and not typically associated with normal dietary intake of glutamate-rich foods. While it is generally safe when obtained from dietary sources, excessive consumption of aspartic acid in the form of aspartame, an artificial sweetener, has raised some concerns. Some individuals may be sensitive to aspartame and experience symptoms such as headaches, dizziness, and gastrointestinal disturbances. However, the acceptable daily intake of aspartame established by regulatory authorities is considered safe for the general population. As we wrap up, it's crucial to note that everybody responds differently to various diets and nutrients, and the potential weight gain effects of these amino acids are not guaranteed for everyone. Further, the excess consumption of these amino acids may cause side effects such as nausea, headaches, fatigue, and digestive discomfort. In rare cases, an excess of some amino acids can lead to more serious health risks like heart disease and neurological disorders. It's also essential to remember that these amino acids are not inherently bad. They perform vital functions in our bodies. It's the excess consumption, especially without corresponding physical activity, that might contribute to weight gain. Navigating the complex world of weight loss can be daunting, but being informed is the first step. Understanding the role that these amino acids play in weight loss can help guide your dietary choices and weight management strategies. As always, consult with a nutritionist or a healthcare provider to plan a diet that works best for you. Ultimately, a balanced diet coupled with regular physical activity still remains the tried and true formula for successful, sustainable weight loss. Happy journeying toward your health goals.